Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. This is the second in a series of videos where I demonstrate how to use the sum product function in Excel. When we want to total all of the records in a list, that's simple. We use the sum function. When we want to create a total of the records in a list that match a single criterion, that's also simple. We use the sum if function. But what if we want a total list using multiple criteria? Well, if you're using Excel 2007, Excel 2010, you can take advantage of a new function that was introduced in Excel 2007, some ifs, which allow you to easily create multiple criteria. Well, what if you're using Excel 2003 and you want to total a list with multiple criteria? Or if you are collaborating with clients and colleagues who use Excel 2003, let me show you how to use some product to total a list with multiple criteria. All right, quick review. In the first lesson in this series, I use the sum product. Now, sum product uses arrays. So our first array was this range over here, B4 to B14 unit cost. And then we separated it with a comma. Our second array over here was the amount in stock. So some product takes the arrays and it first multiplies or uses the product function to multiply across the rows and the sum function to total all of those calculations. All right, now let's move over here to see the sum if function. With some if, what we have over here, and I've used name ranges over here, makes it a lot simpler. I have four name ranges, month, salesperson, product, and amount. So some if, look in the range. In this case, the range is month. So I want to look over here in month, and I want to look for the records that match a criteria. The criteria that I've established is January, or more specifically, whatever I've typed into cell G9. So looking in month for records that match this criterion, January, then I want to be able to sum the amount for those records. Now I can produce the same result using sum product. So over here I've used sum product and arrays. Let's take a look at this because it's going to be different than we did in our first lesson. Now notice over here that it created a single array, but look what I did. I did sum product left parentheses. Now I included inside parentheses the name range month and the criteria. So look in, ra in the range called month for records that match this criteria, January or specifically G4. Now, unlike the sum product in the first lesson, I didn't use a comma to separate the, the, the arrays over here. I used the asterisk to multiply. So when we find the records that match that criteria, then multiply it or use product for the amount. All right, let's break this down. I'll do this from scratch. Equals sum product. And let's again use control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. All right, for our first array, what you first have to remember is to include this calculation inside a left and a right parentheses. So I want to be able to look inside a name range, and I use the F3 keyboard shortcut to bring up a list of names. So look inside month for the records that are equal to, and I'll click on G4, and make sure we do a right parentheses over here. Now for array two, what I want to include in a left and a right parentheses is the name range amount. Now again, remember to close that off with the parentheses. So the parentheses are important, but there's one other element which you're not going to get from the function arguments dialog box. Come up here into the formula bar. Remember that we use the asterisk and not the comma. So I'm going to substitute the asterisk over here for the comma. And I want to make sure that my parentheses match up. They look like they do. I'll use control enter. And there you go. So we used some product over there. Now let's apply that same principle, but apply it to multiple criteria. So let me unhide uh, these cells over here. And let's get these out of the way just so we have more or better visibility over here. Right mouse click and hide. All right, now what we want to do is here is the sum ifs function. So this is new from Excel 2007. So what we want to do is we want to sum a range. We want to sum uh, the amount range for records that match a criteria in another range. 
Now, what we'll do is we'll create multiple criteria up here. We want to use the sum product to total the records where the criteria for month is February or cell J3 and the product is application. So here's what we did over here. Sum product the array that we have over here. Inside left and right parentheses month equals the cell J3. Use the asterisk. The second criteria product is equal to whatever we have typed into L3 and then multiply that by the amount. So let me do this from scratch. Equal sum product Control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. All right, so our first array is we want to be in month. So we'll F3 month. And remember to begin this with a left parentheses. That's going to be a gotcha step. So we want to have month and then we want to have our criteria. So equal to, and I'll click on the cell J3, right parentheses. For our second array, we want the product and I'll use F3 again. Name range is product and I know I forgot to put that left parentheses so that's going to screw you up. Put that left parentheses the name range that I'm using and I want to again use equal and I'll point to this cell right parentheses. And finally also include it in a left and a right parentheses what we actually want to total. In this case it's going to be amount. Now tidy that off with the uh, right parentheses but remember to go up here into the formula bar and what we want to do is we want to substitute the commas we want to substitute an asterisk for the commas so we want to make sure that we have the multiplication rather than a comma in between and that our parentheses match up control enter and there you go. And there you see that it matches up against the sum ifs. So if you have Excel 2007, 2010, take advantage of multiple criteria using sum ifs. If you're using Excel 2003, follow the steps in this lesson. Use sum product. And if you need help on it, you can just click there and make sure that you include left and right parentheses around each of the criteria and use the asterisk rather than the comma. So there you've seen a great tip for producing qualified totals. Some only if the records match the multiple criteria. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.